Hey everybody, welcome in. I am Julie Maxson, the very late main stamper. I am extremely late tonight. I was shooting for eight o'clock, which I normally do on a Monday. I like to come on Monday, eight o'clock, do a nice little card class for you. Today I was running extra, extra late. So I said 8.30 please, and I'm still five minutes past that. And honestly, I could have taken an extra, um, half an hour probably beyond that so really I'm just I'm scrambling here a little bit so we're going to chill it down a little bit Julie needs to relax and show you a really awesome card class now I realize we just got through daylight savings time chime change fall back all of the stuff I know everyone is super off today today's Monday right so we're just we're all feeling the feels so we're gonna shake it up a little bit by doing a card class I'm using sentimental wishes I think I I think I don't, I don't think I, I labeled this wrong but it's sentimental wishes not sentimental Christmas sentimental or is it sentimental Christmas bundle oh my goodness Nope, it would be Sentimental Wishes. It is Sentimental Wishes Bundle by Stampin' Up. And there's going to be a couple of different things about this class that you that may surprise you. So I like to give you a little bit of surprise. First of all, uh, it is still a Christmas card class, but some of the cards may not look traditionally Christmas. Hi, Donna. Hi, Corey. Oh, it's snowing in Colorado. Wow. I don't know if you're happy about that or not. I always think the first snowfall is so pretty. I think it's beautiful and peaceful. Um, we're cold here. We are definitely getting down um, below 30 in the evenings, um, but it's it's been a little bit chillier during the day. Hi, Kelly. Good to see you on here. Thanks for letting me know you guys can see and hear me. So we're doing Sentimental Wishes Bundle. Um, it is an interesting little bundle and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why I think it's interesting. Um, I would love to know if you have it or you're interested in it or if it's something that you're like, you look through the catalog and you're like, no, absolutely not. Um, but I might change your mind a little bit. So as mentioned, as I started out here, hi, Michelle, we're doing Christmas class, but some of these kits, two of these kits actually might not be as Christmassy as a red and green Holly Jolly. So I'm just throwing that out there. You may see something different tonight. We're going to talk about different ways that you can color. So I tend to run to the blends. I love to color with the Stampin' Blends. I feel like the color lays down nicely. You can layer color on color. Uh, a couple of the cards we are going to use blends, but then there's two other different options that I'm going to share with you tonight. So um, I am going to get over to my workspace so that we can get looking at the bundle, the offer that's uh, your card class offer this week, and um, your embellishment, all of the good stuff. So, um, and just briefly, I want to remind everyone that the online exclusives drop to customers tomorrow. Hi, Kathy. So tomorrow morning, you're going to be able to go into the online store and check out the Otters and the uh, Valentine's Day suite and all of the really cute things that are kind of going to be brand new to you. So if you add those to your cart um, using my host code this week, which is DJJ, Y-X-J-W-A. Um, if you use that host code this week, you're going to get the card class with your $40 order, and you're going to get the embellishment with a $50 order plus the card class. Um, all right, let's get over to my workspace. I think I've chatted long enough, so hopefully everything's looking good. And oh, in case anyone's wondering, no baby news yet. I'm still on standby. Uh, the water could break at any second. So if my husband pops his head in the door and says, we got to go, then we got to go. So um, this class could be interesting. I'm going to try to get through the whole thing. Hopefully, fingers crossed, right? And then maybe tomorrow might be a good day to have a new grandbaby. So we're going to check that out. Um, oh my gosh, I, hang on, hang on one second. I think that my workspace. Okay, there we go. I think my workspace is here now. As mentioned, this is kind of a crazy, 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 crazy. I'm just going crazy. Okay, so... Oh, Corey, I'm glad that you love the snow. Oh my gosh, that is so exciting. I'm I'm excited for you. I mean, like Christmas is, you know, every day for me. Um, so, all right, here we go. Sentimental Wishes. The bundle is on page 28 and 29. It's a two-page spread in your uh, mini catalog. So there's lots of, of ways that they've used it over here. Some really good ideas and options. And then, of course, we've got the whole sweet collection. So I am offering these beautiful ornaments. These are called the Druzy Adhesive Backed Embellishments. Um, it's kind of a silver and gold. They're very sparkly. This will be your embellishment of the week if you're ordering with me. Um, a $50 order. And then we're going to talk about the bundle. So this is the Kling Stamp Set. Um, so red rubber. 
which makes it easy to color in different variety ways, right? Um, we have, really there's like four images. We've got the stocking, which I think is the star. The stocking is awesome. And then we have the candle, love it. I've used this probably the most, honestly. The holly, which is beautiful. And then this little bow, don't forget the little ribbon here. We've got four sentiments for someone special. And this reminds, if anyone watches Elf and you remember the, um, the scene where Elf buys his dad some lingerie because it said someone special. Um, if you're into Elf and you wanna do a jokester card, you need this sentiment. Let's celebrate the season, have a very Merry Christmas and wishing you joy and happiness. So these are the sentiments and they're written kind of, um, we've got some different uh, fonts here. Something that we don't always see, kind of Victorian-esque, I think, uh, a little bit of calligraphy going on. Now, this is what's fun about this. This is a very small, like very small. In fact, this is how this comes to you. Sentimental Wishes dies. There are five of them in here. So it's a very minimalist die set. So four of them right here, the stocking, the, the ribbon, the candle, and the holly will, will cut out your imagery from the stamp set. The only bonus one you have is this, this poor little sprig, which is doing a lot of work tonight in our classes. So there's five very small die uh, set to go with this stamp set. And the reason that it is awesome is it's another bundle under $40. $38.50 will get you this bundle. So if you're new to die cutting or you're you know not sure how how deeply you want to dive into things um, i know some of the bigger bundles you know 55 dollars are like um they're they're a little bit out there right for expense so this one is a nice one um at 38.50 because you have enough things that you can die cut this little ribbon is year round this little bow um and you've got the sprig so the sprig uh, two of the dies i really think are kind of year round so my card class offer, this is my fancy paper tonight, again, running low on time. Host code is DJJYXJWA. If you want to place your order with me this week, you're going to get the card kits and then maybe the embellishment too. So let's talk about the card kits um, because they're awesome. I'm just going to like organize them here off to the side for one second because I want to kind of show you the four card kits before I actually show you each card that's in them. So we're going to do some green cards today. We've got garden green, we've got shaded spruce. So you can see two of those card kits right there uh, with all kinds of fun things in them for you. The other two card kits are a little bit different. We have Blackberry Bliss and we have a Pretty in Pink with Cherry Cobbler. So you're going to see that there's ribbons coming to you in three out of four. So I am sending you ribbon for your cards because they need to be pretty. You might look at these two and go, wow, those are not very Christmassy cards, Julie. Well, you know, maybe you're going to wait. and We're going to hold our thoughts on that. We're going to start with green now. We are starting out with green today. Green is awesome. Hi, Patty. Hi, Lori. Good to see you guys on here. Thanks for hanging out with me. We're going to, I don't think I need to die cut anything. I tried to get some things done ahead. I didn't really get as far as I wanted to. But let's take a look at our first card kit here. This one is Garden Green. And you're going to get some designer series paper and you can use either side of this designer series paper. Some, some nice layering mats. You've got a piece of white, which has very specific uh, use coming up. And then you're getting this little banner from the nested essentials banner. So you're getting a banner die cut with this first kit out the gate. And here is our card. We're going to take a look at it real quickly. And I, as soon as I saw these little ribbons, these little bows, I wanted to make like a little pretend garland. So I kind of wanted it to come across my card like so. And we've got the little banner um, on here as well. So this one is pretty easy, other than the fact that you're going to be stamping this little bow stamp. stamp. I don't know what to call it, so I'm probably going to go back and forth all day long. Um, so let me grab out my supplies for this one. This one's a pretty easy one. This We're starting out simple, and we're going extremely complex at the end. Um, but hang with me, because it's a lot of fun. I'm using Stampin' Blends for this one. I'm using a combination of the Real Red and the Cherry Cobbler. And these are the darks and the lights. Um, so you can see here I've got light and dark, real red, light and dark, cherry cobbler. Um, and we're going to use a little bit of cherry cobbler ink and a little bit of memento ink as well. And continue to say hi as you jump on. I love, I love to check out your comments later on in the evening. I like to check them all out and see what we got going on. So we're going to get five of these on here. Hopefully I measured this. Um, maybe, maybe I need to change my measurements on my sheet. We're gonna get five of these on here. I may send you more paper. I feel like that's really squished. These need to be separated before they're die cut. I like to cut them apart. Actually, I would color them first and then I would cut them apart and, um, and then die cut them individually. Now, as mentioned, there's only one ribbon die in the set. So you're gonna be die cutting these five times. 
but it's not super crazy to do that. In fact, I did that earlier. I just didn't get them colored. So we're gonna, we're gonna color these really quickly. Um, but that's where we're going with the ribbons. Now, as you're taking a look at this card again, which is super cute, I think, think about using these as a birthday or a congratulations, like a little banner across. This could say happy birthday with different colors. It could be, um, you know, congratulations. There's all kinds of things that you could do with these little ribbons. I just, they're really cute. They, and they color up pretty quickly, which is what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to start out with real red and I'm going to just... Um, put down some real red. This is the light. I always start with the light. And I'm just going to swoosh this down here on three of them. I used real red on three of the ribbons and I used cherry cobbler on two of the ribbons. I wanted to say three while I'm coloring and my brain's not working. But then I realized the math would be quite wrong and you'd be wondering where the other ribbon went. So we're going to just splash down some color here. This does not take super long. Really the, the, the biggest time issue here on this one is the fact that you just have the one ribbon die. So there's three of them in light real red. We're going to come back in with some dark real red. We're just going to add a little bit of shading and coloring because it's just going to make everything pop a little bit more. So I'm just going to focus a little bit on wherever Stampin' Up! has these cute little lines and maybe toward the bottom of the bow. So just adding a little bit of darker red accent just gives you that building up of the layers. So I'm going to just do that quickly here, not getting super fancy. And you don't have to be super fancy, right? So there's three of them done just like that. So coloring is quick and easy. And now we're going to do two in the cherry cobbler. I like, again, to start with the light. And I'm using the nib end, not the, not the brush end. So I'm just going to go ahead and add in this. Now, the reason I use two different reds is because I wanted to have a mix. I thought it would just be more fun. Now... You could, if you wanted to, you get crazy, right? Add in some green ribbons, right? You could do like a couple of green ones with some red. You could definitely color these at home in different manner. And of course, if you're using this as a different kind of card, maybe you're doing purple ribbons or blue ribbons or whatever, you know, whatever color you want to use. We're going to just bring in the dark real quick and we're just going to deepen down those lines here in the middle. And I feel like the cherry deepens down better than the red. It's kind of funny how you use different colors and you get different results. So we get definitely a different result from those color combinations. So I'm going to try to show you, don't look at my inky fingers, they're super inky and dirty. Um, this one is red and this one is cherry and I'm not sure if my camera will focus enough but there is a little bit of a, a varying different color going on. So the only other thing we have to do is we have to stamp our Have a Very Merry Christmas on our die cut banner. This comes to you already ready to go. That's what's so nice about these card kits too is that you have a lot of the things just ready. So you're just doing a little bit of stamping, some coloring maybe, some quick assembly, which is where we're at right now. We're back on to assembly. So here's our card base, Garden Green. We're going to think about maybe doing a color swap today. I think I'm going to because this one is really cute and green, but I, I feel like this is probably the only card that I'm going to try to do something a little different with. So when you get this at home, you can choose to have the green stripies up or you can choose to use the red up. Now this is a cherry cobbler cardstock mat. So it's a little bit darker than real red. And I did that on purpose in case you wanted to flip it. So this, this red right here would look darker. Um, and we're just we're kind of layering these layer on layer here. This is pretty simple, a pretty simple setup. So if you wanted to do multiple of these, it's not super hard. Okay, and we're doing some, some here on, um, this is, what am I doing? This is going on here flat. As mentioned, in case you're just tuning in, I was scrambling to get my 8 o'clock class live at 8.30 because I was running so late and I just feel a little bit um, Twitter-pated here tonight as I'm starting out. So here we go. So we have our first difference here. We've got the stripies instead um, facing up on the original and we have the red DSP pattern facing up on the, this little change that I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and put some dimensionals on the back of this die cut banner. And I'm still recovering. I'm, I'm recovering pretty well from that nasty cold thing that I had going on. 
Um, so I'm feeling a lot better. I did spend a bit of the weekend resting again, and I just feel like it's such a waste of time to relax and rest because I'm so, I want to do a lot of things. I don't want to lay on the couch and, you know, be, be laid up a little bit. So we're going to put this right about here. And the reason we're doing this is we want to have a little bit of a swag for our little bows here. Now for those, I'm going to bring in the minis because flipping these over and putting a mini, just one mini on the back of these is going to be so much easier. So we get these all flipped back upside down and around. And this is one of the reasons that I like to have both sides of dimensionals on hand because you just never know which ones you're going to need for which project you're doing. Sometimes you need the, the little bitties and sometimes you need the big ones. Okay, so there we go. We got our little bitties on there. So now we're going to, I need to keep in mind that we're going to start with, um, so I have three of the real red. So this one happens to be real red. So I'm going to start it over here. Um, off of my banner so it's kind of covering into this corner here and then the real we can do a real red, real red one right like here on the banner and then I'm gonna need what do we got here this happens to be a real red I can come right here in the middle just like so and isn't this cute I hope you guys think this is cute um, this is a this is definitely an original I, I have not seen anybody else try this kind of design and not that I look too much I don't I try not to look too much at what other people are doing because I don't want to create exactly what they're doing and I, I say that because I do look I do look a little bit but there we go just a really cute sweet little um, little banner that's going across the top of that have a very Merry Christmas now we need our uh, our little bling on this one and I chose to go with the gold but I think I'm gonna go with silver this time so on this card, I went with gold because I felt like it looked really nice with the um, with the green. This time I'm going to change it up a little bit. I have options, right? Because I have uh, I have this whole little pack in front of me. So if you get these at home, you're going to love them. These are really really sweet embellishments. They're very shiny and sparkly. They're very hard too. They're hard embellishments, but they're not super thick. Let me just mention that as well. So there we go. Have a very Merry Christmas. I'm going to check comments real quick and see what you guys are thinking. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Vicki. I've got lots of good friends on here. All right, so hopefully you guys are digging this. I'm going to look to see if maybe I need to change my... Okay, I'm going to move my camera a little bit, so if this makes you crazy, just hang on. Hang tight. I'm going to move that down. It looks like it might have been a little bit... Um, influenced by my fluorescent light that sits right above it i think i had maybe so it might, that might have been a very bright <laughs> a bright experience for you checking out this first card with me um but i think this is really cute and i honestly i think i might like the red better I, this is really cute i really like the red this is fun this was a fun one um not hard to make the coloring was really quick and easy the die cutting was not that time consuming i'd say put on a good christmas movie stamp a bunch of these little ribbons, color them, and before you know it, um, the movie will be over and you're going to have a ton of little cute cards that you can um, share with your friends this season. So that is card number one. Thanks for watching this one and hanging out with me during my craziness. Hi Janice, I'm glad you like the red. That's so awesome. All right, moving on to our second card. Um, we're going to get a little bit more in details and complications as we continue on because you know I do like a good layering card now this one uh, shaded spruce alert this I love this ribbon I'm giving you quite a bit of it this one's gonna have a shaded spruce card base shaded spruce layer we're using the snowflake sky embossing folder this is coming to you just like so you've got um, some white some shaded spruce you've got a couple of uh, the die cut stylish shapes here in the square form and then you've got this paper shaded spruce right um, I don't recommend this side. We're going to go with the stripies on this one. So this is what you're getting for this card. And I want to share with you the card kit because this one is gorgeously pretty. Now the ribbon here probably, um, it's very sheer and it's kind of implied that there's a sentiment behind there. I kind of went a little crazy. I probably could have moved this over a little bit more. But um, underneath here it says let's celebrate the season. And we've got the holly in here with some different little sprigs and such. So this is going to be card number two. And we are going to start putting this one together. 
but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change up so i'm going to hold this on here right now so i have a layer of shaded spruce on top of the card base so my card base is right here so it looks like the same like right it's kind of boring but until until i change it up so hopefully on this one you can see this darker green border that's on here i mean it looks really awesome in person i'm not quite sure how it's showing up on camera but um if you can tell by my little ink stains here i'm gonna look for i'm gonna look for my stuff i put things in different bins today here we go we're gonna bring this in with um shaded spruce so we're gonna start right out with some blending so we've got our shaded spruce ink blender brush and we're just focusing on the corners we're only going to see about a quarter of an inch of it so don't waste your ink getting crazy and going too deep into the cardstock there's really no need we're going to just again focusing on the corners because we are also we're inking up this scrap paper here pretty good too but we are darkening down these edges and this kind of gives us a different tone of the same the same color which i thought was really awesome so shaded spruce this is um, this color has grown on me quite a bit. This was not one of my favorite greens when it first came out. I was more of an evening evergreen girl, um, but I've been using this one more and more. And now I have to say, really, I'm liking um, what this looks like. So if I put this on here, so now you can really see where we're going with this. While this ink is out, let's do a quick sentiment stamping, and we're gonna stamp. Let's celebrate the season. On our little die cut, die cut square that disappeared probably a while back. So here we go. Hopefully I am still in camera. Probably should flip over and take a look. Julie needs to stamp on this one, not that one. So here we go. Let's celebrate the season. And this is in shaded spruce. We're going to glue this together onto here. Oh, yes, we're going to continue. We're not going to put the ink away yet. We're going to keep getting inky. So let's bring in this piece next. And we're going to stamp the holly so this is the really sweet holly uh, stamp that comes in this set and we're stamping this in <laughs> surprise the shaded spruce so we're gonna do something a little bit different with this one now you're gonna have two of them I want you to stamp two of them on this paper you're gonna separate them and die cut them because we're gonna be putting one here and one here we're doing our little our little um, kind of spray if you will um, I'm gonna leave that open I'm gonna move this aside and I'm gonna also bring in cherry cobbler and the way that we're going to color this one is a combination of blending pen, blender pen, I should say. This is a blender pen. And I'm looking to see, did I leave out my package of blender pens somewhere? I don't think I have it right nearby. You get three of these. I left this with green on one end and red on the other because I knew I was going to get right back into this today. So we're going to go ahead and I'm just taking ink right off of the ink pad onto my blender pen. And I'm going to color these berries real quick in the, um, actually I shouldn't be coloring these ones because I don't want to die cut them. I already die cut them. I already die cut some, but I haven't colored them. This is, this is my life today. I wanted to be like a little bit more prepared. We're going to, we're going to color these ones. They're already die cut. So then I don't have to die cut also. So we're going to, we're going to start over again. We're going to just do the berries here real quickly in cherry cobbler. So you can see here, this is going to just put down some really quick color on the little berries here. There's quite a few of them. I think I got them all on that one. Let's move on to this one. So I was trying to be a little bit ahead tonight and have some of the coloring done. And as far as I got was die cutting. I got die cutting done. I didn't get the coloring done. I just ran out of time. All right, so in theory, if we were done with this, we would um, get, this, get the red ink off of here. And it's gonna take a little bit because I have a lot of red ink. On here and eventually this is going to go clear eventually you can see it's getting lighter um, so eventually I'll get all of that off of there and then I would be able to use this in a different color but if you're going to continue to use it for the season I'm just gonna leave it red and green for right now so we're gonna bring in the green now now because we're pulling it right off of the uh, the ink pad we're getting a really good saturation of it so when you first start out you might want to just do the middle of the the leaf until it gets lighter so down here it's definitely lighter up here it's darker so as soon as it gets a little bit lighter go back through and blend in the rest of the holly 
because that way it won't look all dark. If, if you go dark with every little bit of it, you won't see the stamped image kind of in the middle, if that makes sense. So once it starts getting light, I'm going to kind of come back through and I'm going to darken down some of the stems again. And then once it's a little bit lighter, there's less ink on the tip of my blender pen. Then I come back through and I add in the extra color on each leaf so that I'm getting like two different colors into the leaf so it's not all one color. Now if you need to, there's don't forget there's stems here too. So if it's really dark and you're trying to figure out where to throw some darker ink down, um, just go ahead and do up some of the stems with that dark first push of ink. And we're just going to keep going here. I'm just going to kind of do this quickly so it's not like too tedious for you to watch. Um, and we're just going to keep going. We're getting close to this first one being done, so that's a good thing, right? I do apologize. I did need to try to get this done ahead of time. Now you can add more dark ink in more places as you need to, right? So don't be afraid, like, oh, I, don't, I have dark ink and I don't know where to put it. Just go back over your lines that are dark to begin with. And it's okay. Some of this is going to be um, covered up. You're not going to see all of it, but hopefully you can see like this one down here. Some of these are a little bit darker than others, but that's the idea of it. So we're just going to quickly do this one. And I'm just going to kind of throw some ink on here as quickly as possible. We're going to come back through here in just a minute with our link of Stella. And that's going to help to, I think I missed some berries over there, but that's okay. Some of this gets all covered up too, by the way, because I like to add in a lot. So layers of things. So this is the holly. This is just a different way. Now, you, if you don't like this kind of coloring, you can, again, get out your blends, get out your Stampin' Up! markers, watercolor pencils. There's so many different um, coloring mediums that you can use. So just find the one that you like the best. Okay, I think we're good here. I'm just going to kind of put a little bit more dark on some of these spots because I feel like some of them don't have a lot of dark, believe it or not. So there we go. We're just going to kind of go with that. All right, so same situation. I would get rid of all of this ink on here, and then I would be able to use it on something else. Now make sure you cover these up. There's like a glycerin in here. Uh, it's not water-based. There is something specific in here that will help to transfer your ink from your ink pads. Um, and if you don't want to use it right off the ink pad, you can um, you can grab out your ink refillers and you can um, just go ahead and put them on. I would put them on a clear block. I would put a, a drop of ink refill on a clear block. You can use the ink from there too. So there's lots of different ways you can use it. Now we're going to bring in Wink of Stella. And this is going to um, also, glitter pen, favorite thing, right, in the world. I'm going to go ahead and do the berries first. So we're just going to dot these down real quick. And then after that, we're going to swipe off the tip just in case it's red, because there could be a lot of red on here. Let me grab a scrap paper or something. Scrap paper. So actually, there's no um, there's no red on there. So that's good. That's good that it didn't transfer all over the place. All right, now we're going to come through and we're going to just go ahead and blend in with this wink of Stella, and make our leaves really shiny and pretty. I'm not doing the whole thing, so I'm not blanket covering this entire piece of white. I'm just doing that little bit there. Um, and it just adds a lot to it for sure. Wink of Stella is like one of the my favorite secret tips for Christmas cards because it gives that little glittery, shiny, you know, without being messy. It's just so easy to just brush this on, right? It's easier than, you know, doing all kinds of fancy heat embossing stuff. So there we go. Wink of Stella. I love it. And these are all set. Now, on your card kit, you're also going to have some, you might be looking at this and wondering, okay, what are all these others? So you've got these pieces right here, two shaded spruce and one of the white. And when you get this kit at home, I don't have anything die cut from the Sentimental Wishes bundle. So you're going to take this fancy little die, and you're going to do one, two, three, four sprigs in green, and two in white. So I have them on here. I've got two at the top for the shaded and one um, each top and bottom for the white. Now this is, of course, all of this is optional. So if you think this is way too much to do, then, you know, it's not necessary. But if you want to make fancy, maybe a fancy card or two. And here they are all die cut out. So here's all my little sprigs. 
just so that you can see them because um, I wanted to make sure uh, I'm looking at <laughs> looking at messages real quick. I'm also making sure that I am in camera because I haven't been paying attention to the camera as much. Um, so okay, let's let's put this together. We're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of gluing here. So I've got my embossed snowflake, snowfall sky. Love this embossing folder. It's probably the one that I reach for the most right now for Christmas cards. To be honest, I absolutely love it. And I'm gonna be really sad when this is retired because I have a feeling by the end of the. Um, I think it's in the. I think it's just in the online store now. It's not in the catalog, but I think this one's probably going to be going away soon. So if you don't have this one yet, I, I highly recommend it. I adore this one. I use it quite a bit. So I've just, I've been putting some layers together here. This is going to go across maybe in the middle-ish. Okay, just like that. Now you'll notice that before I put this on, I'm going to do some fancy thing here with my ribbon. So I'm going to start by just cutting off enough here that I can wrap it. So I do like to, I do like to, occasionally I like to wrap a ribbon. Let me see the other thing. Let me look over here at my camera. I never look at my camera. Um, make sure I'm up high enough. We're going to grab this little bit of tape and my silicone mat. And we're going to put this back on here and we're going to put this right across the middle. And then I'm going to secure this on the ends. Sorry, I didn't get much tape there, but we're going to try it again. There we go. Beautiful. Now we're going to put it onto our card base. So let's grab out our glue again. My glue bottle is getting a little bit light. I don't know if I've got a ton of it left. Okay, remember which way your card opens. We don't want upside down cards. We're going to put this on here just like so. Okay. So there it is. It's beautiful. I'm going to actually push this from the back a little bit. And this is just all in your kit, so you could really go rogue from here if you wanted to. You could you could do all kinds of good stuff with this, but you can kind of see where we're going. Now we're going to grab out our little sprigs, if you will, here. I'm going to dry fit a couple of them real quick. So I'm going to show you my kind of layout here for this little zigzag that goes on here. So you can see how those go together. And we're going to go ahead and glue these down flat. I hear a kitty cat scratching at my closed craft room door right now. They didn't get, um, again, time change, right? So really for them, I came home from work an hour later, even though, you know, we changed the clocks. Cats didn't change their clocks, right? So they're starving. They feel like they haven't eaten enough. And I came right to my craft room and I got super busy. And um, so I know they just want food. It's their demanding time. So I'm going to go ahead and put three of these little sprigs um, right down here. This is where I get tricky with some tear and tape. These are not the easiest things to, um, to glue down. So I'm going to kind of put them, push them down this way. Um, my ribbon's going to take care of some of that, so I'm okay with that. So again, dry fitting a little bit. More sprigs. And if, you, if you're not a fan of all of the sprigs, you don't have to add them in. I feel like the white gives us a little bit of brightness here too. So we're going to just kind of dry fit again, see where we're going with things. I'm good with that. I try to catch them in a spot where they will be covered. The tape or the adhesive will be covered up and over. This one I might have to move over a little bit. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take this off. And then if I have to, I will add a little bit of adhesive to these little spriggy guys as well if required I try to like that's my last resort my last resort is fine you need to be glued down a little bit better I'll add some glue just trying to make sure that's gonna stick now you can see the little little sprays and such here although this one here I don't think it's stuck very well so we're gonna try this again Okay, there we go. Now, back to the embellishments and the embossing. No, let's make it as the uh, dimensionals. Let's go back to the dimensionals. This is where we're going. So I'm just going to pop these on here. And then we're going to cover up the sides of our sprig, little spray thingies that we're doing all these decorative pretties. 
let's put this on oh my goodness and I have I smudged I have ink of course all over my fingers so this this is a smudge but I probably can go back through later die cut another square re-stamp it so I'm not I'm not too concerned but if you're at home probably clean your fingers off more so than me I think I have ink everywhere today like it's super inky okay so we're going to continue with this beautiful piece of ribbon the rest of the ribbon that you've got in your kit I'm being kind of generous with some of the ribbon because I was like man you want to make a nice bow right for beautiful Christmas cards and such so here we go that's a pretty nice size bow there we can trim some of this off just like so and then I can see that I have tear and tape up here which is a, a faux pas so I'm gonna just kind of peel this backwards a little bit this is movable so you can just kind of peel that back tuck that under and we're gonna hide this with the rest of the ribbon my poor sentiment oh my goodness damaged goods here but this class is really just to show you how I put the cards together so you can see how that would work and I might actually rework this ribbon a little bit at some point just to just so it's not quite in the sentiment way and in, in, in the way of the sentiment that's what I mean to say in the way of the sentiment maybe I'm gonna angle it a little bit maybe angled would be a better option so there are some options yes I think I like it angled better now that I'm you know working this out a little bit here so we're gonna angle that unfortunately my sentiment took a little hit there um, this one right here let's, let's rework this in the middle of in the middle of card class let's rework this bow and pretend it goes this way so yes that's a little bit better right oh I like that much better how pretty so sadly I will have to fix this uh, the sentiment but that's that's for another time we do not have time to do that right now we're gonna move on so there's card number two hopefully you guys are able to see it I'm looking real quick at the camera to see how my light is picking this up okay <clears throat> I think we're good we can move on to our next card so we, we, we go, we've got the green cards out of the way so um, just really pretty I, I really do like how those turned out I'm gonna take just a second and grab a baby wipe for my fingers because holy moly um, messy messy right okay card number two is in the books we're gonna move on to card number three now if you caught the very beginning of my class you're going to know that the next two cards are non-traditional cards non-traditional Christmas cards is what I'm gonna say so let me that a second to dry off and then we're going to move on to our next card and while I do that I'm going to check messages real quick make sure you guys are hanging out with me loving it all good all right <clears throat> we're going to just come through here with the chamois because this is not drying very nicely either we're going to call this the class of Julie's troubles a lot of troubles today all right number three are you guys ready for the number three card I'm pretty sure you're gonna love this one because who doesn't love the, the bliss of the purple right so this is blackberry bliss not a um, definitely not a traditional Christmas card we have a back blackberry bliss base with a nice um, beautiful birch embossed piece we've got some of the beautiful blackberry bliss and gold ribbon some gold you can see all the gold pieces here this is actually from season of green and gold dsp um, i'm sending you besides all of these circles hopefully you can see there's like four circles here um you're getting a little bit of the sprig punch the bow that's the bow punch i call this i call these leaves and sprigs when i punch them out so you're getting a little bit of those in your kit as well let's check out this card so this is our third card and we're going a little bit advent-esque for this one so I I'm adoring those little candles so you can see that I've colored mine purple purple pink and purple just like the advent calendars on your wreath if you follow along with that at Christmas time um, so you could definitely color these in different um, a different way you could leave them white if you wanted to so this is a look at this card right here I'm gonna make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing okay looks like it looks like we're in we're in good play here now so I'm gonna go ahead and just glue this one down real quick this is the um, the birchwood embossing folder and I felt like 
it also kind of looked like the candle wax drippings, right, from our candles. I felt like that was kind of where some of these lines and things were going. So I like that. I thought, let's, let's do a play on that. I'm going to go ahead and glue down this designer series paper onto this white mat. I like to add that bit of brightness right there. And this is going to go right down onto our card base. So these, these card kits um, have some really good bones today, I think. There's a lot that you could do with them besides the uh, Christmas Wishes bundle, if that's what you prefer. And then we've got all kinds of, um, you can see here, all of these little stylish shapes circles. You're getting quite a bit of them here, like so. Uh, we've got some white. You've got your little sprigs and your ribbon, and then you've got the white and gold left over. So this white piece is going to be for our candles. So let's get those out. i got to just find my bin with my candles in them. And we've got the For Someone Special sentiment. So I'm just basically using all four of the sentiments, one on each card, just so that we can we can see what that would look like. And we're not using memento and we're not using blends. We're actually going to go markers for this one. So I have Crush Curry, Garden Green, Bubble Bath, Berry Burst, Highland Heather, and Old Olive. So that's the colors that I have for this card. Of course, you can choose to do whatever you want at home. We're going to stamp our candles in Early Espresso. So Early Espresso is a nicer... Um, softer color than just memento right so you get it it's kind of a brownish purplish blackish color which is perfect because we have a lot of purple going on so it kind of blends right into this now you're going to stamp two you're going to cut these apart you're going to die cut them and you're going to have these really sweet little candles so there's two candles in each uh stamp and die so you can see two candles so they're exactly the same we're going to color these ones with our markers so i'm going to start with the berry burst and again, I'm going to use the nib end, not the brush end. And we're going to color up these little berries. But they're purple-esque. They're not super purple, but they're kind of in the more purpley than red. So we're doing um, on both of them at the same time. So there's that one. Let's do the crushed curry. We're going to do the flames and crushed curry. So this is just kind of some quick and easy coloring. So if you have markers if you have the stamp and write markers you can color just like you can with the blends so you can't you can't layer on a lot of color because of what's going to happen is it's going to kill up your paper so you just have to be a little bit more careful but um i chose two greens here i'm doing garden green and a little bit of old olive just so that i can have a little bit of varying greens in here i've tried the shaded spruce but that was so dark it actually it was too dark the shaded spruce. I wanted to use shaded because I love it right now, but it didn't quite work out on my card kits. So I'm using the garden green on the bottom leaves. I'm going to use old olive on the side one here, and then I'm going to use it on these ones over here too. Now this will dry a little bit lighter than what you're seeing as the ink goes down here. My hand has to hold this down for a little bit. It's super tiny. I'm going to go ahead and kind of accent these little lines that are on here. So there's like little um, like fur type branches, pine needles that are kind of in here too. And I'm just gonna use the old olive here to just accent those a little bit, fill in a little bit of green so it just doesn't look brown. Beautiful, right? Super quick and easy coloring. In fact, I'm gonna not even color the candles. I'm gonna leave these white just so we can check it out how it looks if we leave them white. I did use um, the purple Highland Heather and the pink bubble bath for my advent candles, but you can leave them white. You could color them a different color if you want to. Uh, we're going to do that. Now this piece that you have right here, you're going to die cut your sprigs uh, from the uh, Christmas Wishes bundle. So you're going to be able to get two of them on here, one, two, and I die cut mine for you ahead of time so we can save a little bit of time. So here's all of our little glorious pieces. And for this one, we're just going to start putting these circles together because this is going to be so easy. Oh, we do need to stamp our, our sentiment on the smallest circle. You always want to check to make sure the stitching from these die cuts is facing up, not back, right? So there's a good side and there's a not as good side. I have Blackberry Bliss ink for my sentiment that says for someone special. So this will fit just in here. Now it is harder to see with the... Um, 
photopolymer. I'm sorry, harder to see with the red rubber. But it will fit in here. If you feel the need to practice, then definitely practice. But um, you should be able to put that in there. I chose blackberry ink for that so we have some good continuity and color. Bring this back over. And we're going to pop these on with dimensionals. And then we're going to kind of mix in our little sprigs and such as well. So there we go, just like so. Let's start with this guy right here, the biggest circle. And we're going to go ahead and put four of the dimensionals on the back of this one. Now, there's no right or wrong way, right, how to put this on here because there's nothing on here yet. So I'm just going to layer that in right there. Now for my candles, I'm going to put dimensionals on these too. I feel like I got, I feel like I got the big ones on there. Yeah, I did. Two of them. Just right. One there, one there, one there. Here we go. All right, so we're going to kind of offset the layer of these a little bit. So I'm going to put one there and we'll add one kind of down this way a little bit. So we're just kind of getting that little four pack of candles here. So we're getting, this one's going to be a little bit more elegantly white, right? So it's going to be really pretty. So we're going to go ahead and dry fit in these. Now, again, these are all like extras. If you don't think that you need them, then you don't have to use them on your cards. I just like to have a lot of interests and I love to play, I love to play florist with these. So we've got the gold sprigs here too. And I'm just kind of figuring out where I might want to put them all. Kind of layer them in here. Just really pretty, right? So we're going to do similar to we did in the last card. We're going to bring in some tear and tape. I'm going to try to like sneak this up and under. I probably should have done this ahead, but I wasn't really thinking about that too much, was I? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pull this out. <laughs> try this at home. See if it works for you. We're going to pull this out. We're going to put some tape on it, just like this, to catch all three. So they're all on there. We're going to push this back underneath here and see if we can get that to go under. And if we can get it under a circle, then we're good. So it's under the circle. We're going to go with that. All right, we're going to try this again. One more. So this is actually a little bit tighter and closer than my first one. So just have to keep that in mind as we're putting the rest of the, the items on here. But I should have, I should have, and I didn't. I should have put all of these on before I put my big circle on. But it's just one of those nights, right? So here we go. So we're going to kind of tuck that in. I'm going to press that down. And I can get up underneath there a little bit. So there, that wasn't quite as bad. Now, if they stick out a little bit too much for you, what I like to do is I like to just pull this backwards a little bit and just add the tiniest little bit of glue and then pop this back down. So you're, this, this leaf is, this white leaf is definitely secured. Same thing here, if you need to bend it back a little bit and add just a tiny little bit, don't go crazy with the glue, and just put a little bit on there, we should be good. And you could do the same thing with these as well. Oh, I think we're going to have to do this one. He just, he just fell right out of the group here. So I'm going to go ahead and glue him in. So glue him. How's everybody else feeling? Are you feeling loose? This one's on there a little bit, but you don't want that little glue. We're going to glue this a bit. Okay, so you can see that the uh, the easy part of the class is really just stamping and die cutting and coloring. The hard part is all the extra stuff that I like to do that uh, just elevates the card into something super fancy. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the um, the embellish the dimensionals here for for this part so that I'm not bumping it in the wrong spaces. So two right there, and then this one's going to come down here and come right about here for someone special. I just need to make sure it's kind of facing in the right direction this way. Now the beauty part is, because this is up on dimensionals here, I could sneak this circle underneath of it just a little bit. So it kind of works out nicely to be able to move some different things around like that. Oh, you know what? I already made a bow. I, I did this earlier because I thought... I'm probably going to struggle tonight. So I already made a bow, so we're good there. Ooh, don't you love it when past you does something that future you is like so grateful for? 
Yeah, I made that bow. It's already done. So this is a gorgeous Blackberry Blessing Gold Ribbon. Perfect for this card, of course. And we need to just make sure we're not covering up too much of our, our sentiment and what have you. So really pretty and gorgeous. And I'm wondering where the bling went. I also realized I forgot to add bling to my second card. Now that I'm looking over at it, I'm like, wait a minute. We didn't, I didn't quite get that done. I might change this up a little bit. I might put two smaller ones up here and one bigger one down here at the bottom, like so. So that's, that's just really pretty. So now here we go. So we've got the, the Advent purple and pink candles. We've got just the white candles. And I'm wondering which one you like better because they're, they're both really pretty. I feel like they're both really pretty. Let's bring in um, the Let's Celebrate card. And let's add a, a little bit of bling. So you can see here that I used the silver on this one. This was card number one. Actually, I'm not going to put one on here because I need to replace that. So we'll just put a couple on the bottom just for funsies. So we're going to just grab these out and put a couple there. I will come through and fix my, my poor little sentiment there and then put another um, embellishment on there. Okay, so we're moving on. That is card number, well, another look at card number two, and there's card number three. Let me check comments real quick. Make sure you guys are still hanging out. I know it's getting late, right? Uh, white candles, says Donna. That's awesome. Ooh, Donna likes the purple. The purple one would be beautiful with a lantern card. Yes, absolutely. So gorgeous. So bright. Okay, so we're going to move on to our final card here. I know it's late tonight. I had a late start. Do apologize let me just clean up here for just a, a second while you guys are still commenting on which candle card you like better grab a sip of water and we're going to move on to our um our pink card not super christmasy but super cute and fun and wait it might get christmasy as we go so let me grab everything out of the envelope here we've got quite a bit in this one um some more ribbon so again three out of four cards had ribbon this week this is iridescent uh, striped trim. We've got a pr uh, pretty and pink card base. This is Dashing Designs embossing folder. We've got some cherry cobbler in here. We've got a couple of die cut tags from the um, something fancy uh, tags. We've got some designer series paper. Again, I'm loving the stripes lately, so we've got some pink on there. This one, we're not making a duck card, although if you really wanted to, you could change it up and you could do ducks. Maybe you want to make them look Christmassy. I don't know, but we've got um, that. You've got a little snowflake. This one is from the Frozen Edges bundle. I'm just adding it in so we have something a little wintry. And we are going to take a look at our card because we haven't looked at our card yet. Let me flip my camera back over. Make sure you guys can see and look at how cute this one is. I want you to do an ah over the coloring here real quickly. This stocking coloring, I did look online. And it is the, the idea inspired by Rochelle Laird Smith. She did a really great job coloring a card that she made and I loved it. So I chose those same colors to do this one. Now I changed up a lot of the other designs. So pretty much everything else is different. Just that coloring. I loved her color choices and I really wanted to bring in something kind of different. And the pink and the blue here is definitely different. So we're going to go ahead and add on our embossed piece. You're going to notice that it doesn't fill the entire card front like they normally do. I'm going to continue to just kind of put my layers together here so that we have all the bones of our card. And then we've got, we're going to put the ducks down. The ducks are not going to show today. We're just leaving up the pink. The pink is the thing. Pink and, pink and red here. Okay, so these are going to come down on here just like this. They're going to come onto your eye. Uh, cut this wrong. I measured this wrong and cut this wrong. What did I do here? This is incorrect. This is the wrong size. So we're going to do we're going to do a do over really quickly. Grab out some white. We're going we're to redo. All right, bringing in the ruler. I cut the wrong size paper in my hurry. Three and a half by five and a quarter. So if you're checking this class out and you're wondering what Julie's doing, this is not normal because, you know, it's just one of those days, right? Five, we're gonna go five and a quarter this way. Five and a quarter, three and a half. Let's do, let's redo three and a half. Now this should be a bigger piece. 
Let's measure. Yeah, that looks good. All right, good, good. We're going to do, oh, you know what? I think I have another pink card base here. Do I have a pink card base here? I do. We're going to just start over completely here. I'm going to uh, four and a quarter score my card base with the light blade here. So this is a lot of the work that I do ahead of time as well to prep for the classes. I will have these things cut and scored and all the good things. Here's my bone folder. We're going to just do, we're just, we're just, we're making this work today. It's one of those days, right? So I'm not going to use this one today. We're going to change that up. I do need to put this into my dashing designs folder. So I'm going to bring this in here. The, uh, this is a thick embossing folder. It's got the black line right here that I'm using to line it up. Let me get rid of my scraps, but keep my card pits, parts and pieces. Oh my goodness. We're going to bring in the die cutting machine. So we're going to bring in the big boss. We're going to bring in just the base plate, the embossing folder with the hinge facing the rollers, the gray plate, which is number four on top. And off we go. We're going to go ahead and do a quick little bit of embossing. So this is fun, right? So I'm doing all of this work for you when I send you the card kits. So if you ever get my card kits, and things are embossed and die cut and punched and what have you. Just know that I'm doing these one like handmade one at a time. I'm doing them one at a time for everybody. So I do put a lot of effort into them to make them really fun and awesome. And I know that you guys love them. So thanks for uh, thanks for ordering with me during the week so that I can I can sit in my room and cut paper and emboss paper and die cut paper and send you these kits so that you can make pretty cards too. All right, so now that we have this correct, I'm glad I dry fit that, because this is where we need to go with this. This is just gonna be right on here, like so. Isn't it fun though, if you're in your craft room and you make an oops, and you have all the things that you need to fix it, you can just fix it. Like, that's my favorite part. I can't imagine not having all of the things I need all of the things so I can I can keep doing all of the things all right so this is coming on here just like this I'm gonna press this this way so the bones of your card lots of good stuff here you've got this beautiful start right here you've got your tags if I can get hold of one of them there we go so I kind of put mine on here a little bit at an angle like this let me bring in my card so you can see so there's the bones with the ribbon, and then we've got this piece for the stocking and this piece for the sentiment. We're gonna go back to Memento Ink because we're gonna do our stocking in Memento, and then we are going to do our blending as well. So this is a bigger uh, stamp. So I'm just gonna put the spacing up, put my Memento Ink all over it, just like this. And we're gonna stamp this right on here. And then after you die cut it, which we're not going to do because I've already die cut one, we're going to color it. Now, before we color that, let's just do our sentiment real quick. This is the last sentiment in this stamp set. Wishing you joy and happiness. We're going to do this in Cherry Cobbler. And you may notice from my card here that I did fussy cut that. So we are going to do the same. Now, if you're not a fan of fussy cutting, you could trim that down a little bit smaller if you wanted to. But I do... We like to fussy cut a little bit just so we can get that have more of our little cute stripey paper showing so we're just going to go around the words a little bit kind of at a circular motion and around and around just don't leave any sharp angles and it'll look like you die cut it and if you have any sharp angles you can go back in with your snips and just kind of round them off again so there we go wishing you joy and happiness beautifully done right and now the coloring. So I know you guys are all dying to see how we colored this in. Oh, before that, there was a snowflake somewhere on my desk. Oh no, did I lose the snowflake? It's the cutest thing. Okay, here it is right here. We're going to just use a little bit of, before we color, we're going to use a little bit of pretty in pink ink and a dauber. And we're going to just get our, our figures just need to be more inky, apparently I can never have enough ink. We're just going to go through and do a little bit of that on the outside. We're going to leave the inside white. Isn't that cute? 
just a cute little snowflake to go onto our card kit there. Okay, now, now I know this is the part you've been dying to see, right? Because we're going to do the coloring. These are the blends that I'm using. I'm using Light Berry Burst. I'm using Balmy Blue Light and Dark. Old Olive Light and Dark. Daffodil Delight Light and Dark. Light Bubble Bath. This is, I believe, Light Cherry Cobbler. And then I've got the Color Lifter. So we're going to start with the stocking because that is like really cool that it's done in blue. I think it's really cool that it's done in blue. We're going to start with the Light Balmy Blue. And we're just going to kind of go around the whole outline of the stocking itself. So obviously keeping the heel and toe white. So don't color those parts. Okay, go in a little bit now. Just kind of, I'm using again the, the nib end to kind of scribble in some color. Not going too crazy. And I'm just going to kind of lightly, I'm going to go lightly. I'm going to leave a little bit of white in here. I'm not coloring the whole thing. So it may look, it may look really goofy to you right now, but it's all going to come together. We're going to go with the dark now. And we're just going to kind of come through, through the edges where there's a little bit of the darker lines that are in the stamp set itself. So kind of just kind of come through a little bit of shading in the dark color. And you can be as generous as you want with this, of course, but I try to keep it a little bit lighter. Back through again with the light. And this time I'm just focusing on where the dark and light lines met up. And it's going to look like it's really dark, but it will dry a little bit lighter. And we're still keeping the center kind of not colored in too much. Now we're going to come through with our color lifter. And we're going to scribble in here in the middle. And kind of just kind of will lighten up some of the some of the ink that you've already put down. It'll kind of fade it a little bit, and that's the look that you're going for here. Is this kind of faded middle of your stocking? Okay, so my first is way better sample than this one, but you get the idea. So I could add a little bit more blue here if I wanted to, to kind of fill in the middle of that. But I think I'm going to just leave it. So that's the coloring on the stocking. So there we go. Stocking is colored. Okay. We're going to move on to all of the pretties that are on here. I'm going to start with the, um, the hardest thing to color is basically the candy cane because this is so tiny, these little lines. And I'm looking at them from afar, so hopefully I'm kind of lining them up properly. So just pick every other one, right? White, red, white, red, white, red and so on. I can't really see them from, from a distance, but there you go. That's all you have to do there. So simple, right? Now we're going to bring in, oh, you know what? I put the balmy away and I probably shouldn't have one of these presents is in balmy blue. I like that these, um, I like that these presents, even in the stocking are not traditional colors, right? They're, they're very pale colors. They're different, definitely different Victorian, more Victorian looking, I feel. Um, so I love the colors that this, um, this lady named Rochelle, um, inspired me with like, these are just absolutely beautiful colors. We're just going to finish coloring in, um, you know, the presents and the stockings and all of the things here, just adding in some, some different colors here, bringing in very non-traditional, uh, holiday colors really. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I actually have the dark out and open, so I'm going to go ahead and Continue to do a little bit of coloring over here too. And this is going to be pretty quick and easy as well. Not too difficult. I'm just going back and forth with light and dark if I have light and dark because we're um, I'm catching the little bit of lines that are on here, maybe a little bit on the outside edges. So you can definitely get those highs and lows for this one. I'm using the light old olive here for the center. Um, ribbon here and bow on this gift. I'm actually leaving this one white, so I'm not coloring in anything other than that. I'm going to go ahead and kind of color in some of these like leafy needle, pine needle type sprays that are coming up and out. Just give that some green too. And where I brought in the darker old olive is just to kind of accent a little bit of this as well. Just to give it a little bit of a different look from that ribbon that's right next to some of them. So there we go. We're coming along here. I'm going to lift this up here. I don't know if my camera will show you the amount that's done on here yet, but it sure is pretty. Now we're going to go ahead and do this front package here in the light bubble bath. Add that in. And now we're going to bring in Berry Burst. This is light Berry Burst. We're going to do these 
Oh, Zafia Benjui. I don't like to use the brush end. It's very difficult to use the brush end. Okay, we're going to just kind of come through and do this. And then I'm going to come back through and catch some of this as well <coughs> with that fairy color. Come back in and kind of blend in. So it's just the blending game. The blending game, right? All the colors just gives you some... Um, it just works best when you blend it back together like that. And I think I'm done. I think the stocking is ready to go. And it is so pretty. Now that didn't take a super long time. So if you die cut a whole bunch of these first, um, then you put them together. It won't take you so long to put these, you know, get them colored. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of offset my, my two tags here. Just kind of like one is swinging away a little bit. And it just fills up a little bit more on our card that way. So our dimensionals are coming off. This is going to come on up here and fill in the space. We're going to put some dimensionals on our sentiment too. Just like so. <clears throat> We're going to glue this on here. We're coming up close to the end of this class. I hope you guys have been loving it. I'm going to put a little dimensional here on the snowflake. Pop that on right there. So cute. Next up is our ribbon for a little bow. We're going to put this on with some tearing tape and adjust that a little bit. Tearing tape. Thanks for hanging out with me, Lee. I know this is just not as intended. My voice is ready to give it up. So there we go. We've got that on there. We need our bling. And we're going to go ahead and add, whoops, that went a little bit farther than I wanted it to. So I like the silver with this one for sure. I think it works really well with this iridescent ribbon. So again, this is the um, the embellishment gift this week with your card order, with your, your kit order, I should say. Let me let me clear down here real quick so we can see all of our cards. So here's card number four. I hope you guys are loving this kind of Victorian look at um, Christmas cards. Definitely something different. I'm just gonna just like go back through here and take a peek at the cards that we made today. This is the one that I had problems with, with the uh, the sentiment. And then we switched up this one here. So these are um, all from the Christmas Wishes bundle. So you can see here we use all four of these images and all four of the sentiments. <coughs> and there they are. They turn out. I think they turn out pretty good. This was kind of a crazy class for me. I was not in my element, but the cards worked out well. Hi, Joanne. Thanks for saying perfect as always. That is so sweet. Close. They're close. To per they're handmade and they're beautiful. I will give you that. <clears throat> All right. Uh, it is. Wow. It's quarter to ten. Like it's running late. So you guys, thank you so much for hanging in there with me. My voice is definitely done for the night, so I'm just going to go ahead and say thank you for watching this class. If you're interested in ordering it this week, my card kits are available with your order, $40 order. $50 order gets you the card kits and embellishment. The host code is in the uh, description. I'll be emailing you uh, information, and also you're going to see these cards all week long to let me know which is your favorite. Michelle loves Shaded Spruce. That one's a really pretty card. All right. I love to read your comments. I will check them all out. If you have questions, leave them here as well. Um, hopefully next week we'll be completely back to normal. And I say that and we'll see what happens. So all right, everybody, until next time, stay inspired, create something beautiful and share the love. Bye.